The Slender Man mythos began as a meme created in 2009 on the forum Something Awful by Eric Knudsen under the pseudonym Victor Surge. You heard echoes. His original concept was just a few manipulated photos of the eerie figure stalking children. But the meme's viral appeal grew as people contributed stories, images, and videos that expanded Slender Man's lore, portraying him as a supernatural figure who kidnaps or manipulates his victims. Slender Man gained further traction with the release of the survival horror video game Slender, The Eight Pages, in 2012. The game's premise was simple. The player navigates a dark forest while being hunted by Slender Man, a faceless, looming figure who gets closer the longer you play. The game's minimalist, unsettling atmosphere and the relentless sense of dread it evoked cemented Slender Man's status as a modern horror icon. The success of the game spawned sequels and inspired countless fan-made adaptations, further feeding the meme's virality. Despite being fictional, Slender Man blurred the lines between fantasy and reality for some, particularly young audiences immersed in online subcultures. The meme became a breeding ground for fan fiction, YouTube series, and collaborative world building, allowing participants to feel like part of an ever-expanding shared universe. It was this participatory nature that helped the character become a near legendary figure, sparking intense emotional investment from fans. But the case of Morgan Geyser and Anissa Wire revealed the dangers of immersive internet culture. Slender Man, despite being a mere construct, wielded enough power in their imaginations to drive them to an unspeakable crime. The girl's inability to distinguish between fiction and reality serves as a tragic cautionary tale of how online content, even in the form of memes and video games, can have real-world consequences. In 2014, the Slender Man stabbing shocked the world, highlighting the disturbing intersection of internet culture and mental illness. Anissa Wire and Morgan Geyser, both 12 at the time, attempted to game-end their classmate Peyton Leutner in a misguided belief that the fictional internet character Slender Man would harm their families if they didn't appease him. Slender Man, a meme born from horror fiction forums, quickly became a symbol of urban legend and online folklore. The roots of Slender Man lie in the internet's capacity for viral storytelling. Created on a forum for users to share manipulated images, Slender Man was depicted as a faceless, tall figure lurking ominously in the background. The mythology that developed around him involving children disappearing or being manipulated gripped the imaginations of many online users. However, what started as a creative, fictional exercise took a dark turn in the minds of two young girls who could not separate fantasy from reality. Anissa Wire, who had a history of depression, was particularly drawn to the Slender Man mythos, believing it represented something real. Morgan Geyser, who was later diagnosed with early-onset schizophrenia, also became consumed by the belief that the figure would target them if they didn't offer a human sacrifice. Together, they plotted to game-end Peyton, whom they lured into the woods and stabbed 19 times. Miraculously, Peyton survived by crawling to a nearby road where she was discovered by a cyclist following their arrests. Both girls were found to have been suffering from serious mental health issues. They were ultimately sentenced to psychiatric institutions rather than prison. Wire was released in 2021 under supervision while Geyser remains in psychiatric care, her most recent bid for early release denied. Peyton Leutner, the survivor of this brutal attack, has since spoken publicly about her ordeal. While her physical wounds have healed, the psychological trauma lingers. In interviews, she revealed how she learned to cope with the horror of being betrayed by her friends, though she has made it clear she wishes never to see them again.